on the Rises. box. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's going on? Let's start this bad boy up, shall we? Let's get this thing rock and roll. It's 829. I don't need to go through a whole other song. We got, we got Bear Moose here. We got uh, yourself. We got Bear from a distance. A blurry distance, <laughs> but he's here. Blurry distance. <laughs> Welcome aboard Red Fast Review episode 98. Holy hell, we're we're creeping up there. The Chiefs have won the Super Bowl. Um eventful weekend. We had the waste management open, so we'll talk touch briefly on both of those. Of course, some TGC tours talk. They uh we'll go around the horn with some clips. Go over the Red Fast Review Society. We have a fun new course this week, Moose's Home Course. We'll touch base on that. And then we don't have Rob tonight, but uh, he is sending trivia to my knowledge. Um, so we should oh, be says. able to get that. Um, check my email. Still nothing. Um, but we should hopefully find that out at some point. How was everyone's weekends first and foremost? Moose, what's going on your way? Uh, yeah, not too much. Uh, let's see. Today's Monday. Worked a couple away games over the weekend. Um, I think we, yeah, shootout win, and then we blew them out five to one. So getting back on the right track there. Um, and then yeah, that was really it. Nothing. Uh, nothing too much happened today. Picked up the dry cleaning. Everything was good. Mm, the blood came out of done. our shirt. Oh yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was about it. Just, uh, pretty relaxing. Are you getting any more chances at denouncing sometime soon? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to text my boss to be like, Hey, I know we have this many games left and I'm not expecting anything, but like, if there's a chance, can I get a heads up so I can prepare? I think I'm going to kind of yeah. word it like that. So hmm. I'd love to have another opportunity and, you know continue to like work on my skill set like, and stuff yeah feel like i could improve a lot with uh the small amount of feedback i've gotten which reminded me i was supposed to text someone today and i didn't so i'm gonna do that quick that's so not a good start that gotta, gotta make sure you uh <laughs> respond to people uh rob uh, unfortunately can't make it tonight but bear can and uh he, he's the uh nice victor of some extra loot coming from the super bowl how was your weekend weekend was good we uh obviously the saturday night special off and running as normal uh again i i enjoyed platt this week uh, being able to switch my name back, we uh, we did have another bet on the line. It ended up being a push. So uh, this upcoming Saturday, we have uh, another Twitter name that, that will be coming, provided by McTrees. Uh, and then the Super Bowl. I, I know we're going to get to it, but man, that was that was a great game to watch. And, and you know, mm -hmm. down here in Columbus now. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's going to be a, a fun couple of days for me at this conference. Yeah. That, that, when do you return home? Uh, Thursday. And then back to streaming all weekend. You love to see it. That is dedication, mm -hmm. folks. Um, I, I said, I said this demos. year we're, we're doing the content push. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Going up to four days a week on the most latest, the most recent schedule too, or uh, you know, that's one of the notes there. So really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. MLB new new golf coming out. That it's it's a it's a spring and summer of fun in the Bear Den. That's for sure. Um, yeah, uh, same pretty much goes here. I have my big party every year, the Super Bowl party host. So I get uh, like twenty plus people that come over. So that actually went surprisingly well. Casey slept through uh, like the second half or well, he, you know, did his standard wake up after an hour or so and then kind of went back to sleep. But he was able to sleep and, uh, you know, I, I cashed in on a few bets. So uh, with I, I guess while while we're on it, I'll, I'll I'll switch over to the Super Bowl tab. I I was fortunate enough to hit the nice hit the doink bet. I was I placed some money on the doink. <laughs> oh, man. I also had money on a defensive touchdown. And I was <laughs> five yards short of hitting a special teams punt return touchdown too, which would have paid plus mm. fourteen hundred, which would have been a real nice payout. Um, but unfortunately, got f stopped five five yards short. Um, but all in all, I thought that was a really good game. 
and um, you know, two really good teams. It, well, you know, I, I kind of have a hot take. I don't think Kansas City is yeah. very good. <laughs> I think you Patrick don't Mahomes think is Super Bowl champs, but the remaining the remainder of that team outside him and Kelsey, <laughs> like it is very average after watching that game. But Pat Mahomes is far and away the best player in the entire league. So as a whole, I guess you average out to being the best team, right? <laughs> by having the best player by a long shot. But like there wasn't anything that like was anything. And on top of it, Andy Reid is significantly better uh, of a head coach, I think, than uh, Sirianni. Um, their O-line was good. Their O-line was good. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, it, it really showed. It, well, it didn't show. Philly, Philly did well. But their defense, having not played a high caliber offense like pretty much all season, and certainly in the playoffs, like in the Giants and the uh, 49ers list, the, the quarterback list 49ers don't really count as a prolific offense, uh, ended up showing quite significantly in the second half. And, uh, you know, Pat Mahomes being Pat Mahomes goes and gets himself a second one. Um, I don't know if you guys had any takeaways or anything other than the game. I guess that's kind of my hot take. It's like, I, I don't really, see, like, between Mahomes, it, like, you can win with just a quarterback, it seems, almost in this league sometimes. But it, it, I wouldn't be that surprised if he finds himself in a Aaron Rodgers situation a few years, like, even next year or a couple years down the line. It's like there's no room for any other talent around him. Um, but. Uh, I, I feel naked because I don't have the, the rundown. How deep into the game are we going to go? Because there's one play we do have to talk about. Mm, yeah, mm. I, I didn't really go play by play, so I mean, you can lead up into it if you want, but I didn't really have a uh, play by play breakdown. Because, again, the the player saying right after the game, he goes, yeah, I held him. I'm confused. I thought defensive holding couldn't get called within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Uh, no. Do I just sure not can. know the rule? No, it can. Illegal contact, I, I, I don't think, is within five yards of the scrimmage. I'm pretty sure that's the one you're thinking of. Okay, because I went into the NFL rule book and I saw it said something about five yards, and I was like, they showed the first replay. He was almost behind the line of scrimmage when he hit him. Yeah, it, holding but is that, anywhere. I'm almost positive it's illegal contact you're thinking of. Okay. Yeah. So I was I was trying to figure that out. Again, I, I sent it into our group chat. I go, I got Kansas City at plus 250 at halftime. Ooh. And then it was like, okay, like this call really helps me. But like watching it, I just, I selfishly wanted the field goal and give Jalen Hurts the ball back with a minute and a half and let's watch history go down yeah. and then it's like okay it was really setting up for like a perfect like picture perfect ending to a perfect game too there was no like even the the second defensive touchdown that was like immediately overturned like uh bolton was the guy who returned it like everyone kind of knew that like by the letter of the law it was uh an incomplete pass because it was such a bang bang play um like there really wasn't many controversial there was a couple booth reviews but i think everyone was kind of in agreement like uh yeah like i think this is the way it goes except for the one that was back and forth when the teams were going back and forth and bear and i were actually watching a, a clip of nick sirianni before pointing mm -hmm. to kansas city to go back down the field and yet it, it ended up turning against the eagles but um you know, I don't think there was any super controversial plays at all, which is ultimately what you want. And on top of it, it being super competitive, and that was neck and neck the entire time, you know, Philly getting out front, Kansas City coming back. And uh, I don't think there was a single holding call, it seemed like, on either team. No pass interference, no roughing the passer, personal fouls, taunting, any of that nonsense that you constantly see all season too, right? The grass um, so, was more controversial. I was going to say, that's the only thing I was going to talk the about. Grass. They spent, oh my God. they spent months and months trying to get this new sod, Here's. spent $800,000 <laughs> on it, and then the Eagles are switching out their cleats before the first half's over. 
And then uh, what's his name? Slip too on the kickoff. Elliot, I believe. Oh yeah, he yeah. Booted, but like even at the end of the game, you were like, "What was it?" Greg Olson was like, "Oh, I'm not trying to jinx it, but I mean, he is right on the paint here <laughs> where they, they <laughs> had some slipping." Um, but my word. And I think the uh, the biggest thing is if you look at the two touchdowns the Chiefs scored. It was pre-snap motion where the wide receiver's running, puts their foot in the ground, changes directions. And then, I mean, there was no one in there. Again, thank you for, thank you for the uh, comments on the quality of the <laughs> camera. Not the dedication. Still be on the pod <laughs> with, with it. Let, keep going with the camera. Because mm-hmm. I, I think that, that's really just, you know, the best. That's the story <laughs> we're going to dwell on yeah. here. <laughs> Here's here's what Bear is referring to. Let's go go to it. I I I, I did find a uh, little Twitter glimpse. We won't play the audio, but look how wide open Sky Moore is the, at the top of the screen here on this play. Like th- this is the guy that's covering him. He's got to be 15 mm. yards away, not even close. And then oh, I thought that was I said two two wide open touchdowns. Maybe he has it in his comments. There was another one. It was literally the reverse play. What was it? Tony? I want to say it was Tony. Yeah. Guy Moore was the second, and uh, Tony was the first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wide open again. No one even close to him. Um, and it was just like, these were the plays that like separated, in my opinion, Andy Reid. His offense, um, I, like I don't think these necessarily speak to Pat Mahomes. Uh, Mahomes really what played fantastic otherwise, but um, you know these two plays, like the, the way that they were called and uh, the game plan, and Eagles having absolutely no clue what they were doing. So I mean, I feel like that has to rely a little bit on Sirianni. I don't want to lay into him too much because he obviously did a fantastic job getting to the Eagles to the Super Bowl, but you know. This is what happens, and this is an offensive league these days. Usually in the past, you said defense wins championships. It doesn't really seem to be the case that much anymore. Uh, Moose, oh, what was number, your favorite? Number oh, one ahead. defense. Fair. Defense got rolled. That was all I wanted to say. The defense. Yeah, I know. Like, it, And it circles like the. Uh, let me bring up their schedule while, while Moose puts up, uh, talks about his. You watched it, I assume, right, Moose? Or were you like my mother? Yeah. Who's never watched the Super Bowl? No, I. I watched it. I, like I said, I was just going to point out the uh, the grass and how much time they spent on that and just all the controversy there. But um, if we want to talk about the halftime show for a second, I didn't think it was the most entertaining, but the songs were fantastic. Like the performance was good. The entertainment level was not great. What performance? Unless... What performance was there? Outside of her spreading oh, her right ass cheek. I was going to say, she's pregnant, so she's already like 200 <laughs> feet in the air. I get that. I, I don't know if, if it's oh, yeah. up with like, get in sync, bringing out Britney Spears and, you know, all of these crazy, again, having fat 50 cent come down from the ceiling <laughs> last year. It's. I always feel like the Super Bowl has like that one surprise moment, and the surprise moment was she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. It was like okay, want more? <laughs> was was I the only one thinking like, what if one of these platforms just falls? <laughs> like there had to be someone else thinking that, right? It wasn't just me. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch it. Gotcha. Again, every song was a banger yeah i like that was that might have been the first halftime show i recognized every song and i'm not like a huge you know rihanna doesn't take up most of my spotify i don't think i've liked a single rihanna song on my spotify in years but we do yeah. trivia with you moose we we know the retention rate you have <laughs> <laughs> i guess it circles back to i i don't think there's that there wasn't, I don't think, that many really good teams this year that really stood out. Because I'm looking at their schedule, right? So let me bring it up. 
And the point I was going to make is I don't really think they played that many great teams. Like they beat the Lions, who ended up turning out great, but they, and that was the first game of the season, and they almost lost. And the Lions, for the first part of the season, were trash. So, I mean, take that for what it is. Vikings, I don't know what you want to make of them. Like they had a negative point differential on the year. We kind of talked about them being <laughs> frauds. The Commanders, they beat one of two. They split with them. They beat the Jags. Um, Okay, the Cardinals, they were trash. The Cowboys, this was a good win. I will classify that absolutely as a good win. Did Wait a minute, did... Uh, I think that was... It? No, because Cooper, Cooper Rush, Rush is though. still... Cooper Rush, so I mean, it's like, eh. <laughs> We have Stephen A with the Cowboys. <laughs> mm. um, it's like Cooper Rush, and then the Steelers, when who was their quarterback this game? Kenny Pickett on one of his first games. Um, Texans stink. Commanders, they lost. Colts stink. Uh, Packers stink. Titans stink. Giants, I mean, they were okay. They made the playoffs. Bears stink. Cowboys, they ended up losing this game. Saints, they lost, and then they beat the Giants. Um, and then, obviously, they go on to beat the Giants in the postseason, and then a quarterbackless 49ers. That being said, I'm looking at the NFL, and, like, it's, it's hard to really say, like, well, who else is better, right? Like, I think the Cowboys really were a bet. Like, if they went head-to-head -head with the Cowboys, I, give me the Cowboys all day, a healthy Cowboys. Um, out of the NFC, though, like, I mean, San Fran with a the quarterback, there's not much other re representation. Um, I, I mean, the Lions were playing great at the end of the season, but, like... I don't know. Do, do you feel like there was any overpowering teams? Like, I think Buffalo, the Cincy, Eagles, the, and the Eagles were the three were. best teams. All out of the AFC. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's just me. No, I mean, like, I don't want to shit too much on the Eagles. I, I think it's more of a state of the NFL. Like, I don't think there's any overpowering team right now. Um, Mahomes is the overpowering talent. Um, but. I guess it speaks on the parody a little bit. Anyways. Oh, it's what happens when you open up the playoffs to that many teams. Yeah. You don't get teams tanking or trading too early. The big assets, you look at the biggest trade that happened, it was McCaffrey going from Carolina to San Francisco. Like, that's what makes a team that's average above average is getting those key pieces. When you mm -hmm. have all these teams thinking we're still in it, they're not going to give up that key piece to to really send them to the next level. It's it's going to be an insane off season, I think. I think that's going to be a, a a very good thing, not good for you know teams in the AFC, but I think the AFC is just going to have eight or nine teams that you look around and go. Mm. If they get in the playoffs, they're going to be dangerous. And the NFC is going to be the Eagles, maybe two other teams, San Francisco, and, and then who knows? Yeah. It's, it, it's so injury dependent. You look at the injuries throughout the, the season, right? Like it, between Lamar Jackson going down, Tua going down, that's two prolific teams kind of out of the AFC, right? And then you, San Fran with all their quarterback hit troubles, they had Dak go down. Um, and it just, uh, feel, I mean, that being said, Jalen Hurts is, he's right up there as one of the best players in the league. So, um, I will, I will give them that. Um, I think it's just a little bit deceiving talking about how great Philly's defense was. I think that, that was ultimately what I was trying to get to. Um, mm. I didn't see them as big of a threat. Like everyone was kept leaning back towards on paper. They're like the number one defense or whatever or whatever, but ooh. we're here, you know, Philly, you know, played well for all intents and purposes. Jalen hurts is going to be there for a long time. So looking forward to next season, but uh, kudos to the chiefs and we move on. Um, any other points before we go to waste management? Actually, I have one yeah. other thing. But go ahead. I didn't have anything. We, we Moose and I both agreed the uh, Breaking Bad chips commercial. Oh yeah, the, the commercial. Yeah, that was that was my favorite commercial. I couldn't. And I don't hear think half the games. So there were many, many other comparable ones. 
I must say, Samuel Man saying in the chat right now, Chris Stapleton, best anthem ever. That was I can't really say good. I don't really remember many national anthems, but he knocked that one out of the park. He and was it was just it. so, so simple and basic, and he did his own thing with it. And it exactly. wasn't this big mm-hmm. production. I mean, I don't recall Whitney, but I would imagine Whitney fuck Whitney absolutely nailed hers too. Um, so Moose is our stars correspondent. He was actually seen at the um, <laughs> game this past uh, Jamie. weekend. They got a nice TV uh, yes. shot of him. It, this didn't happen before last week. Huh? <laughs> no, this didn't happen yeah. before last week. Here you go, Moose. I've seen this uh, later, so many times. He was seen... yeah. Just don't play the audio. Yeah, I don't don't play, play the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, goofball. Uh, this was a great segment that we used to have back in the day. Always, always showing the different <laughs> fights from the right? games. His girlfriend was getting the... in the mix too. That's what I'll we did what, after, after the red fast got nerfed. Yeah, <laughs> I got the high ground. He's not. A I did not kid, think apparently. he was gonna pop up like he did. Like I thought he was gonna be out, but he popped right back mm. up. I, for a interesting looking human being, he's got a solid chin. <laughs> he's got a solid he's still, he's still <laughs> running his mouth I know he hit me first he uh, hit me first oh yeah we're gonna pause that audio um, but anyways waste management open uh, did you guys watch any of that by any chance did you have any money on it there I saw oh, a couple you? shots let's see was this the, tw- the one I wanted to see uh, yeah everyone's favorite right there's <laughs> always <laughs> one And I said I was going to get one tweet that with Philly fans in town. <laughs> of Got course, it. there's there's a lunatic at the at the waste management, and I guess I don't know if it was like more rowdy than before. It there he is after it was that yeah here he is jumping into the lake too. <laughs> of course, written on the back on his back, he has 19th hole pointing to his ass. <laughs> Swims out to the waste management sign and starts dancing up there. Um, but it, it always is interesting. I think it was relatively in control, except for this guy. I didn't really hear too many things outside of that. Um, and I'm glad they just weren't like throwing beer bottles just like on the shit sake of like a birdie putt, like they were at certain points last year. So that's. That's good. I think they went all plastic now. It is waste management open anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I, I'm sure it was nut still. Um, here was probably the highlight of the weekend for anyone that did mm. see it. It was uh, on Sunday. Mr. Ricky Fowler Just getting him, himself an ace. Ricky Not on Fowler. the stadium hole, though. It was on the like eighth hole. It was like 215 yards, too. Dead center cup. Casual. And, uh, you know, just beautiful ball strike. Oh. Can we see the distance here? Seventh hole, I guess. Scotty Shuffler ends up running away with it, winning. Um, Scotty and Rom, and I think, uh, Scotty and Rom right now, like the, the two that are going to just run through some tournaments, they're playing at some real peak, peak, peak golf. It still amazes me how Scotty Scheffler is able to keep his balance with that back foot slide. Um, but yeah, fun tournament. Glad to see all the pros back. We've got the Genesis this week. We have Tiger coming back this week. Very, very excited for that. We don't have the Genesis or Rev- Riviera playing on Trusim this week. No, I'm not sour about it at all, but um, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> post in the uh, Trusim uh, chat. And I'm like, why are we not playing Gen- uh, Riviera? But. Anyways, um, it's unplayable. Yeah, Unless apparently everything's it's, very slow. Yeah, apparently it's unplayable, but I don't know. Um, yeah, did you guys watch any of it? Any of the waste management? No, no, not really. <clears throat> Just no. the clips when we started yeah. talking about it. All right, and then the last thing, I guess this this will fall into this category, even though it's more on the golf side. I guess we can switch tabs. Um, is the 30 versus 60 frames thing for EA. So mm. EA dropped last month, or must have been Tuesday, that they will be releasing their game on 30 frames per second. 
Um, Respawn had a interesting comparison video on 30 versus 60 frames per second. It was kind of eye opening. Um, that being said, there's a reason why probably they're not releasing three click at the start. Uh, take a look at this video. Left is going to be 30 frames per second and right is um, 60 frames per second. It looks, he slows it down, but you can see how choppy the left is compared to the right frame by frame. Yeah. Um, that being said, like, ultimately, does it affect your gameplay? And if everyone is going to be on it, it's, I don't know, like, I, I want to be hopeful and think that it's not going to be all that bad. Um, that being said, anything that is next gen these days seems to be a bare minimum 60 frames per second. So it's just extremely disappointing to hear. I don't know uh, what you guys thought when you're initial. And this is on 2K23, so we don't know how it's going to look on EA. But frame rates should mimic that. And are they going to allow a performance mode down the road? Who knows? But yeah, kind of substantial left versus right here. Mm. It's um, different when like you have a shot from the fairway or something. Compared right, to the two right. box because you're not zoomed out as much, but yeah, and it's great. like you know, as a you know, gameplay aspect. Um, so like here is one from the fairway that was side by side. Where was that? Like, I don't think it looks all that bad here. No, uh, you, you notice a little hitch in the camera on the left side when it uh kind of changes angle there when the ball's a little higher in the flight, but. Obviously, it's going to look worse in comparison by any means, and it's the f yeah. It's just ultimately it's disappointing. I'm personally be getting it on PC. I know you guys are going to be likely getting it on PC, um, but I was actually planning on getting it on PlayStation, and now it's just 100% determined PC is the way to go. And well, I guess we don't even know if PC isn't 30 frames per second. We just know um, Xbox and playstation r so uh just a bit of disappointing news on that front but let's get to some tgc tours shall we yeah 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 all right uh was there anything else from that ea uh update that was relevant i don't think it was a good conversation if you guys haven't seen it gamer does a great breakdown respawn does a great breakdown check out their youtube's channel youtube channels but that was kind of the glaring um big one um, there wasn't anything that was like super insightful. I don't think that I'm missing. Am I? There were there were uh, swings you could use from. Oh yeah, multiple different swing styles. So you could have like ten or twelve different styles. Like I think there was like seven or eight male and like five different female or something like that. As far mm. as the styles, so that's going to be kind of cool. Mm. Um, a lot of aesthetic things that you know I think are all positive. Um, you just swing full on every sh yeah no you partials. just swing full on every shot a bit um and the no partials is a bit of a disappointment we'll have to see how that plays i think ultimately the biggest thing is as long as it doesn't play too easy um it is one thing that bear and i talked about um on our next game chat interview which will be dropping next week not this week we're working out uh some branding and also bears out of town this week so uh our editor traveled with him down to columbus and uh mm. is also out of town nice so we're looking towards a, maybe next week release we might switch it to tuesday by the way um but anyways yeah as long as the game's not too easy and as long as the game the um mechanics are good i'm gonna be happy personally but well, the, me the mechanics are easy, too easy in 2K for uh, one person. That person goes by Lindsey Collins, a.k.a. Lindsey Collins, 2K23, oh the name of this podcast, winning by nine strokes on the field. This is a tournament that he pl that is played with all the best players in the world and won by nine strokes. You don't see this e even in, in real golf, video games, just blowing away the field. Um Especially that happened round to Rio score. What's that? It happened to Rio because Rio shot fifty. 
Steady? Ja. Ah. Mm. I want my bees. I want my bees knees match back. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, right, we already move, have 35. Oh yeah. They shot that won't help. That won't help. They'll double and triple. Um. Yeah. So didn't shoot. Didn't shoot uh, fifty. But yeah, winning by nine strokes over Coxter, Chris Abbott, and Pat, the gentleman who sends in tons of clips to us every single week. Thank you very much for all your service, Pat. Let's take a look at some of the clips from this past week. We'll start with Mr. Coxter. He's always good for a few. It'd be fast. This It'd be fast. This should be pretty good, actually. Oh, yes. Just go in the hole. Go in. Go in. Go in. Holy... That yes! Was, that was insane. Come on! How far out were you from that? Oh, Dorag. that's Dorag. huge. From, uh, Come on, baby. Great work. Need to get something going. There's Ten something. Bring... Indeed, there is. And there, he wasn't done there. He, he, he's got a couple Houdini acts later in the tournament. Let's take a look at those. 23 would be all right, get there. I don't know if this will get. No, hit that fast. That's gone. That's freaking gone. Are you kidding me? That's no good. Okay, the ball's above your feet, and you might want to aim a little. At least it's not OB. That's going to tend to pull your shot to the left. Not the ideal tee shot. Mm-mm. <laughs> Oh my god, bounce, bounce right. No. Oh, Jesus. So that is part one. one. Here's part two. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Go in, please. Oh my god. <laughs> that was one of the most insane recoveries to a tap in bird. Oh, just a, just a, just a nice, bad. easy that bird. That's <laughs> nuts. Nice, easy bird there. <laughs> Literally traveling the whole way on the cliffside. Nicely done, Cox there. Getting himself a second place, Vic, uh, second place finish. How about Mr. Progressive Golf? Oops. Ooh. Yes! After all that bullshit I put up with in this fucking game. <laughs> Kyle was frustrated. Unfortunately, he's he get he got demoted last week and uh, struggled on the course, um, like many others. Uh, so no, he is not alone. Very very tough track, and especially under the conditions. But uh, that was a nice little consolation prize he was awarded there. Alberto Frigo. Had himself a nice little highlight. Mr. Albi. Lento. Potenza. <laughs> That's a shame. Put a little too much... Too much a sass too on much that sauce. one. Uh, where did he finish? Frigo? Frigo? There you go. There he is. T23. Nicely done. Also in the top 10, we have Gary Newell, Chris Rossi, Dango, Zach Zimmerman, Sloaner, Kara T10, as well as Snoopy. We won't have to mention that. We can mention Map Collector T12. We won't mention the other tweet. T well, we can mention Eric, name Eric too. We'll skip the other one. Um, Elite Tour. Are we, where are we playing this week, Bear? Squidward's house. Squidward. Interesting. Oh, th that's why you were talking about that last night. I was so confused. Or whenever we were in a Discord, <laughs> they up, they like, up what's the, he uh, the purse about? this week. So um, I think I'm I'm coming out of uh, the brief retirement, and we're going to uh, <laughs> the brief layoff. We're going to participate this week. Um, let's see, Elite Tour. What do we have? I have actually several clips from Elite. Surprisingly, Thomas Hudson. Oh, hey, cat. 
winning by two strokes. Congrats on the win. As well as Paulutina down in, in uh, Elite and Brandon Penn. Let's uh, take a uh, Brendan Penn. Let's take a look at Sylvian Berger's clip, though. Start there. And there's Sylvian Berger. Second shot on all number 11 of round three. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Huh. And it's just going to be absolutely mm -hmm. perfect in the middle of the cup for an eagle. Nicely done, Pat. The Foggy Man Monk? What am I, what am I missing? Oh, the Fog Bear. <laughs> the yeah, he's, he's got... He's I only have one up. screen. Oh, I have one OB, screen, OBS too. Filter on. He's trying something new out. Here's Snack Pokey. Yeah. Poking the... <laughs> oh. Oops. There you go. Nice little haul out there. How about TGC Tours Commissioner, Doily? Interesting replay. Is it going? Kind of. No. Oh. Oh. Could it? Back door? Oh. Oh my god. Very goodness. tasty. Wow. Sliding on in the back door. And then finally we have Mr. Steel Vike. Uh. <laughs> Second thought. Let's dial that back. I think this is actually this week's uh, elite. Could be wrong. Orange ball too. Clementine oh, trying the bottom yeah. of the cup. Ooh, seven Decent under front. front. Don't mind if I do. Oops. Um, nicely done there, gentlemen. Um, yeah, respawn fifth place. Moving on up to plat. I think he's playing his plat rounds right now. So, if you're looking for some golf, make sure you go check that out. Uh, let's see. Kinetic Tour, who won over there? We have Jay Perns. Yerky? I'm going to guess that's pronounced Yerky Pierness. Um, getting the win over on Kinetic. Trusim. No, can, no clips over there. We had Mr. Sloaner take down TPC Scottsdale. Seven stroke lead over Colby. Colby adding to his second place. Silver medal trophies. <laughs> uh, he does have the, the the monkey off his back these days. So, uh, big, you know, th those I think will uh, accumulate nicely now that uh, he knows there's not that huge weight. But I'm sure he wants to ultimately get that first place prize once again. Pat making another showing, top five performance along with Mr. Abbott. Uh, Chris Abbott has always been a heck of a golfer. Seeing his name at the top of the leaderboards again is nice to see. All right. Uh, one clip from CC, and then we'll run through the whole leaderboard here. Let's take a pick, peek at the clip. This is from RG Flashy. One moment, let's start that over. Heck of a recording. Hole in one question mark. Reginald Donaldson. Heck of a hole in one. Love the love the effort to go in and record like this. Although it looks like it's a twitch playing of a Twitch clip, so I don't know why we weren't just sent the Twitch clip. <laughs> uh, did Semsi not send his ace in either? Um, yeah. I, you know what? I didn't even review the sheet. That's on me. I'm a I'm a pathetic person. Let me pull it up right now. We got time. It might be in Community Corner, but... Semsi, here we go. TGC Tours Elite. Okay. Let's take a look at Semsi. Well, missed the green on that one, but uh, I've already forgotten about it. Doesn't look like an ace, gonna be honest. And he's got another one. Oh. Look at that swing plane. Oh. oh my goodness, congratulations. Yeah. That'll work. That was on Elite. Here he is on Kinetic now. Sorry for the spoilers, everyone. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess I probably should have maximized that and put the volume on. That's my bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep, the old soccer ball in there, too. Don't mind if I do. Arnie Semsey. Love the look, Semsey, too. Great style. We got all Hogwarts stuff here. You guys play? No, you guys aren't playing that game. No. All right. Looks fun. Yeah, it does. It does. I wish I had some time to play it. Oh, speaking of the man playing his plat rounds, we got Mr. Respawn coming in with a party of 32 coming on in. Just as we finish our TGC tour recap and uh, welcome in Raiders. If this is your first time in the channel, this is the Red Fast Review. We're breaking down all things TGC right now. We're switching on over to Community Corner where feel free to send in your clips to our um, Twitter channel. That is the link right there. And uh, we have a uh, you know community portion where we kind of just showcase all the different clips from the week. And that's what we are getting into right now. We should have a trivia segment at the end of the podcast. Can Moose, can you confirm if Rob sent it or not? Um, in in chat, yeah, nothing no. in the Discord. Nothing in the Discord. Okay, yeah. so we may or may not have trivia tonight because we don't have Rob. But uh, we typically have a trivia segment at the end. And uh, without further ado, let's get to, into some clips from this past week. Hopefully, the rounds and uh, the plat debut went well for you, Zane. I'm also making my plat debut this week, so I'm going to need some luck. One, I took a couple weeks of mental preparation beforehand. If you You're have Mr. Uh, this guy is named the CIA Bear, and he is currently that's the normal camera quality that we have when we're not in a hotel on a ten-year-old computer. So <laughs> notice the scorecard plus nine here. Rage course, leave me alone. You're ever in doubt. <laughs> What the hell just happened there? I know I was hammering okay. the fast forward. Did we see that ball knuckle? If you're ever in doubt. Whoa. Yeah, that that's really not. It just hit something midair. <laughs> if you're ever in doubt. Got a little slipstream. The wind changed directions midway through the shot. <laughs> if you're right. ever oh, in doubt. That's like legit wind change mid shot because you can see pre -shot. It's legit. Oh. oh, I thought that was a joke. No, yeah. it legit. Look at the, look at the wind. It's going right to left. Yeah. There's absolutely you know my no swing plane. Goes, it ain't yeah. going right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you, you see left. it. You see it start to change right before it, it disappears. Oh, so that's why I top. start to hammer the or fast ever. forward because I'm thinking it's in the All bunker. All right to left, which mimics the swing plane and the wind. And down. Out. And then it just hits a wall. <laughs> like it's like it, like you're playing the old school pong and it reverses. Yo, the, I know the, I was the, hammering the uh, fast forward angle that you see in. that ball knuckle. That that was I don't do it much in here. Can somebody grab that clip? <laughs> clip that. My goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you sent that one in or posted it in the chat because I hadn't seen that. Yeah, one of the UFOs, one of those Chinese blimps. Just hit it midair. All right, let's look at uh, one that maybe goes in the hole, perhaps. Chris Locks looks like Seamount for Life Society. If you don't play that, it should be on down, all the platforms. Down, come on, stay down. If it catches that slope, it's coming back, and it does. This is going to be so good. This might be the highlight of all highlights. Get get ready. Brace yourselves. Let's go. The man I don't brings have my the passion. Volume. Oh no, it's locked. Yeah, oh my god, dude. Does he come back? I love how the clips are like 20 seconds of him not on screen. Oh wait. Clip it. There he is. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> usually they don't just even end with him coming back. It's just off the screen for like 20 seconds. <laughs> it's usually this. Yeah. Staring point. into your soul. I, still my favorite was the, the look up no point for like 30 seconds. And I really wish the clip kept going and he just hit the next shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Stone. Oh, you know what? I had a comparison video here hold on 
They are. Poker. Sorry. Here's Matthew, PKR, and Stone Canadian. Same hole. Everything's going well tonight. You may recognize it. It's um, at a call. Uh, oh, wow. Big, you know. It's getting better. Just yeah, that of course hill. in Georgia. Let's go but with that. It's the 16 hole. Perfectly. It's probably going well, into the hole. Big time slow for the ace. <laughs> the big time oh, slow okay. for probably. the ace. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them were so ashamed that they hit those slow tempos. Everything's Look how well fast tonight. they each fast forward this too. This is not a fast forward on my screen. Like, oh wow, yeah, they better. both hammer it, and they both. It's funny. Oh, wait, it's wait a minute. Hole. <laughs> probably going. <laughs> into Let go at the same the points. The mm. I know. It's really good. All right, what else we got? Time slow for the Probably. Actually, oh, for the respawn raiders, we have a respawn clip from this past week. Let's take a look oh, at that. What was what was Mr. Zane doing? Oh, wait a minute. Code is working, he says. Hmm, what could this mean? Leap respawn has a. Uh... I'm right back down the hill, if you could please. Kind of like that. <laughs> They're one eighty sixes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Those are one eighty sixes. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the zoom's not going to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> I thought those are 186s. HP did that job. All right. And it's all downhill. Couple Beans laps moving. in real quick. Yeah. Okay. That is that is that is four inches to the cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a moment! What a moment! How about uh, another person that you guys might be familiar with? Now this. You don't see all too often. This is from Mr. Seamount for Life, playing in Happy Happy Joy Joy over on the PC. If you guys play there, go. Yes. Oh my God. Go in. Get in. Bang. Yes. Oh. An ace of trust, baby. Right here, I finally get to use it. <laughs> I finally get to use it, baby. He's got his ace alert for Sawgrass. I, uh, yes! I mean, not Sawgrass. Waste management. Scottsdale. Uh, yeah. I always mix up Sawgrass and Scottsdale. I don't know why. Two S's, I guess. Cheers! Big, big signature par three holes. Mm -hmm. mm. I know which one. Give you more to bail out. Yeah. I know which one each one is, but if for whatever reason I say the opposite one, hell of a shot there. Yeah. You know what I love too is his like little jump up too. Like watch him jump up <laughs> mid here. Ready? Right? There. Go! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, go in! There's like Just almost get, a get, get in! He needed the little oomph to get over. Go! Oh. Yeah. Hmm? Whatever you gotta do. Go! <laughs> I mean, it, it's the literal interpretation of gamer sits forward. Yeah. It's into the zone. Bear is in a hotel room right now. Columbus, Ohio. I, I can't look at chat at the same time. I, Speaking yeah. of that, happy, happy joy, joy, the host of it is the G-Dog right here. I don't know if he's playing just online head-to-head. -head. This is versus Jones. It looks like, yeah, it must be the online ranked. He's got a tailwind at uh, Bay Hill number six. And that's where he's headed, just a little bit wide of it, but this ball appears to be hammered. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> oh, that's so far up there. <laughs> This, this is like a long drive contest yeah, right, here, right here. Right here. And this is the bit heavier in weight. Where's the belt? Can you go back a little bit? That's a putt to tie the hole.
Did it say putt to tie the hole? No. Did it? Okay, to win the hole. To win the hole. Yeah, okay. yeah. If that was a tie the hole, I would have thrown it up. No, that's why, like, I... Where's the belt? Yeah. I caught it real quick, and I was like, wait a second. It's all three letters. That flew so far. Let's take another look at this. Gary, he had to hit this right on the button. Oh, wow. I love the commentary line up perfectly. He's got a zinger. He's got hit this right on the button. Boom. All right, got uh, a couple more. Here's one from BJ. Ooh, look at the are the graphics here dialed up or what? That looks kind of nice. Red Fast Review Society. Maybe not. Now it looks crap. <laughs> it's just the lighting that looked good initially. It's for you, Red Fast okay. Review. Ooh. In the Red Fast Review. Always Let's go. A, always love a dedication, a shout out to us. And then mm -hmm. finally, we got one more Matthew PKR. I think this is a different one. Oh, is this the same hole? Oh, look oh, at yeah. this. Look at this. <laughs> well, look at this. I guess this is the ace hole. Or was. Hmm. Hmm. Boom. Boom. That's a reminder to play the Red Fast Review Society, which we'll get into next. Uh, let's take a look of this past week's um, leaderboard, shall we? We played on... Uh, where is my tweet? Oh, that was three, three tweets. We played over on um, Cashmere Golf Resort by Alec. Uh, what is his full name? Alec Pendleton. Uh, very nice course came out a little while ago, but it was a fun desert theme and here are our full results So feel free to join if you have um, PlayStation Xbox or PC it is on each um, Of those platforms each week and we do have a handicap scoring system So based on your TGC tours flight you will get additional strokes this week's winner is Jebi master with a uh, gross score of 20 under par net of 34 under Let's run through the rest of the list real quick. Grimbo, Witness, The Barrett, Chief Jordan, Matthew PKR, USC Trojans, Busted Nuts, Blaze Ripper, Hitman Higgins, Visual One, Davy Boy, Bandit BJ, Linkster, Hizzy Nasty, Loto Knockdown, Doby Diesel, Bader, I'm Playing for Chubbs, Sports Life for CIA Bear, McLovin Red Sox, Caster, Corrupt, G Dog, Nolan Ryan, Constant Prowl, Trent McNeely, Zinner, Tapja, Jojo, Mr. Incredible, Snow, Slow Snap, The Big High Ass, Davino, Penn Knight, Just Jordan, Ace Home Canadian, Bipti, Pander, Scott, Doug Bauer, uh, Scott, uh, Cockster, Scotty Walnuts, Halburn, Gamer Ability, Jimmer, Criddle Bones, Tuminator, Code, Jumbo, T Lamb, Phoenix, Darku, Heels, Coyote, Urzfan, Snack Oki, uh, Juna, uh, Ryan Bailey, Kodiak, Jut, Locks, Blanchette, Cajun Capgun, Scoop Magoot, AJ, The Ray, AKA, Respawn, Will Fork, Zeke Monster, Cool Ranch, Croc Hunter, Saletto, uh, Potomac Bombs, Johnson, Miller Time, Saucy, Handicap Path, Kilbride, uh, I am Steve. Uh, hey, F you buddy. Name K, Sem C, T led demo. Golfer, I want to say. We'll call him Alfer. Uh, Yee Troy Jenkins, Gruntman, Chad McSperry, Turd Frick Ferguson, Smith G, Some Old Guy, Mav, Fitz, Widow, Final Cut, Fruit Fly, Scooby Dog, TFR, D Hurst, Brett Sully, Wild Hockey, Silver Fox, Roscoe, Brennelin, The Johnny, V Jansky, Not It, Tyler, Trodell, P, uh, JG, Highlander, Alec, SSS Sock, Scribs, JR Dowdy, and Lanzer. Thank you all. 120 participants. Uh, we've been cruising over 100 participants for a little while now. Appreciate all the support. And uh, we've been having a good time on the society. We're going to even have more fun this week as we play Moose's home course, Quinnetisset CC. Moose, are you excited to play your home course? So excited. It's going to be. Uh... I don't know if you played any of it yet, Kilbride, but as I mentioned before, shorter course. Um, so you're going to be able to drive a decent amount of power fours if you get the right wind, which, uh, uh, foreshadowing, I don't think you will. Because um, then we'd have like fucking 70 unders through two. 
Um, but yeah, it should be fun. Tricky green, so make sure you're playing it when your putting is on because you're going to need uh, every putt to drop for you. Love it. And this is the course that you got an ace on, correct? What hole? 16? Yep. Uh, 16, and I lift one out on three. Animal. I couldn't even imagine having two aces in the bag. And I suck. Well, I am looking forward to it. JG designed this one. He also designed Grim Reaper, which is one we played recently, which was a collab with Mr. CIA Bear. And uh, he's working on my home course right now. So we could have how's, how's Butterbrook coming? Um, it's moving along. He's doing a good job. I am doing a terrible job in communicating as far mm. as uh, a time we can <laughs> collaborate, uh, finding yep. a, a mutually agreed time where we can both sit down and review it together for an hour or so has uh, been a bit of a challenge. But yeah it will it will come it will come um let's see here okay content creator of the week Glenn kilbride before you get into that oh, yeah um did you run down the cc oh you know what i completely forgot about cc you were correct good call i skipped right over that because there was something we talked about last week uh, mm. regarding one of the other tours. Oh, right, also right. Took I don't place, know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I had I was caught up too much in the transition to the community corner with the raid. I got I got thrown off. Um, let's go through the CC real quick. We're reverting back. Eddie Emo, Eddie Emo, eleventh place CCA. Eisenberg twentieth. Um, Let's see here. The Barrett fifth, Fisher Bissett eighth in CCD, Jebi ninth in CCF, Semsi seventh. Um. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I put a bunch of notes I've kind of forgot yeah. about them. Okay. Stevie Subs 20th in CCG, Sebi K fifth. Um, let's see. Name of the week Minkus 111th. <laughs> Hey Moose, what Moose, show do you Minkus know what's from? Minkus, I can from. tell you. I'm excited to see Casanova in the chat. That has my full attention right now. Mister Nova, yeah, that does have my full attention. Cheers to you, sir. Welcome in. Jesus Christ, this is. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, we got the trivia, and I have boy no idea. Me, boy meets world. That's boy right. Meets world. I've, I've heard of it. Whatever. I, I was thinking of even Stevens for some reason, but that's like Beavis or something. I think Beans. his friends Beans, that's right. Beans. Um, yeah, no, that's a good <laughs> trivia. Devs, the winner in CCK. Um, Bob uh getting sixth. Joey eighth in CCL. Uh Chief Jordan getting CCC. And what do we have for the three click, which we have been kind of keeping close tabs on as of late? Tell me it's turd. Uh well, it was the same guy for the past what, eight weeks, Bear? Well, not anymore. Oh boy, we come on, Charge. One took him down on count back. Love that sixty-five under under Andrew Eckhart must have been a watcher of the Red Fast Review. Took that challenge seriously. World Golf Ranking seven twenty, so it came out of nowhere. And uh, had he been playing this? Where did this come from? I, I did not check. Three click. Oh, he's been top five like every single week. Second place each of the <laughs> last five. So he's been right there. So if this if there was a guy mm -hmm. to do it, this is the guy. So what do I know? <laughs> Goes to show you how much pay I'm paying attention, but uh, heck of a tournament, Andrew. Um, very nicely done. And the next step, Mr. Slow Snap, content creator of the week. Um, I will put that shout out in here. Slow underscore snap. Alone. Oh, he's singing there. Uh, let's see if he has any um, clips. He has 33 followers, so not quite at affiliate yet, folks. Let's go try to help him get affiliate while we watch one of his most recent clips. This is from the Red Fast Review Society. 91. Oh, did I do it this time? Oops. Driving yes, the green. Sir. Some of this kicks down. Oh, and just funnel? Oh, I'm fine with that. No, see, that's, and that's why I didn't want to hit. That's we where it would have rolled if I would have hit it out on that hill. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, he's playing I'm with his buddy, with so you get a little commentary in the background. Way better than being up in that bush. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, can I uh, can I get like sneaky here and and maybe chip one in? Why not? Oh, baby! That's a nice little eagle too. Oh, that's Mr. Sock in the background. Love Red to see fast it. Red fast review. I'm submitting that. <laughs> well, you, you submitted bad. it to the right place, Snap. And uh, content creator of the week, go go follow this man. He's closing in on 50 followers, which is one of the requirements for affiliate. Always love to see people get to that affiliate status. All right. Um, as mentioned, I, I guess we do have trivia. Did he send it via Discord? Do you know? Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, it's in Discord. Okay. Let me uh, coordinate that momentarily. I yeah. Oops. Uh, it's gonna knock out that. That's okay. Put that back. Should be good. I need access. <laughs> Unbelievable, Robert. Unbelievable, Moose. Can you ping him? Yep. How's your night going? Let's go oh. five minutes. Oh, approved. Oh. What a fucking legend. Look at that. I oh love it. Oh, my God. You know, you know a guy for a little while, and then he just comes through constantly. All right. <laughs> um, let's do a teamwork. We have uh, trivia here. Let's tab over. How yeah. are we going to get the answers? Um, we're going to have to look them up. Okay. You want to be the lookup guy, Moose? I'll trust you. Sure, I'll try. Right. Appreciate it. Bear's, bear's shorthanded over there. Um, so I was going to say, I've, I, one screen. Yeah. You have no idea how much this is murdering me. Typically, we have Rob ask the questions, and he already knows the answer. He's the host at his bar, so if this is the first time in this chat, uh, Rob Lobster, he used to do trivia on his Twitch streams, and he has been managing a bar uh, for the past couple of years. He has moved on, you know, hasn't been doing uh, trivia on Twitch in some time, but uh, has started his own trivia night at his bar and does a hell of a job, so we kind of get the questions from the prior week and try to see how well we do as a team the three of us or if uh please is here it would be the four of us um as far as um you know going through so without further ado and feel free to chime in on chat we don't have the official um announcer here tonight so let's go through um each of the trivia this evening let's go to the slideshow round one this is a uh, hundred uh, IPA 10K, so I don't, that must be the sponsor. Okay. Questions? My oh uh, yeah, I with I forgot he did tell us that. Okay. I forgot all about it. What number was Joe Montana on the San Francisco Forty ers I want I mean, to say that is sixteen. 16. Yeah, That's 16. what I was going to say. Do we even need to look that one up? Uh, if you want to look it up to confirm. Yeah, I think everyone's saying 16. 16, final answer. Score. Okay. 16. Beautiful. All right. So we are one for Who's, one. Which car right, company? Someone else has to keep score, though. If we're uh, even doing that. Okay. I'll try to keep score. Give me a minute. Which car company manufactures the most pickup trucks? That has to be Ford, in my opinion. I would think. Um... Twelt has a lot of variation. Uh, it would be to pick Chevy. Up. Would be the second one, I would imagine, mm. or GM. I like Ford. All right, uh, you okay? Ford final answer here. Yeah, yeah. yeah sh sh uh, Ford final answer. Um, if you can look that uh, up. General Motors. Mm. So maybe it is GM. Uh, yeah. They do have GM. They yeah. Do it have, uh, looks like Chevy GM. Cadillac. Really? GM? Okay. Mm -hmm. Buick. Really? Okay. 
We'll have to confirm with Rob on some of these answers. <laughs> oh, here thank he is. you. Here. Rob's, Rob's Does, tuning in. Do we get me him? being got fuck everything up? Uh, no, no, it looks well, great. I mean, temporarily, but I can fix it mo in a few few seconds. Do I sound okay? No, yeah, you sound. I mean, well, I'm we ideal. we can we can understand you. Okay, I'm in my car driving home. I love oh, that. Nice. <laughs> Give me a minute, and I'll configure. I'll configure the cameras. Uh, in, in... There's okay. no other podcast where you will see someone. Not only stream trivia questions from their car, but also stream from a hotel room. I don't know what other dedication you want from us, folks. <laughs> is, is there a, oh my god, I didn't even realize. You didn't realize? I'm in like, I've got my like 10 year old laptop because I couldn't do it with my work computer. I, <laughs> the, I'm not going to lie, I've been driving, I'm on the freeway, and so I haven't actually been able to look at the actual stream itself. It's awful. It, it's like the worst moment of my life. It's like I'm back. This is the camera I used to use when uh, I streamed with the Xbox. <laughs> so obviously I can't read the questions, but I'll tell you what the answers were. Oh, thank you. So 6,500 was, 6, was the winning score minus 1,000 for the music round that we cannot participate in. Gotcha. Uh, so that puts us at 55 is the number to beat for y'all. <laughs> no, it's Ford. GM Let's is not go. a car manufacturer. They are a car company. They are a ownership group. That's what I figured, but I didn't see any different names. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next I question. That was Ford. All right, so we got 200 right now. I'm the, I'm the scorekeeper on the end, so you don't even need to keep score. We just need you for the answers, Rob. So you're and two for two, right? Yeah, two for two. Mm -hmm. What was the first animal found in the dictionary? Oh, that's got to be easy. Aardvark, right? Aardvark. That, that's what I was going to say, yeah. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. Yeah. Can Aardvark. I tell you, my par my mom, God bless my mother. She had. That's a good question. She had the most fun coming up with some of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many questions got, like, kind of... No, can you tell me, like, come up with a different one, because no yeah. one's going to know that. Uh, 70. <laughs> <laughs> Aardvark is correct, I assume, right, Rob? Correct, that is correct. Okay. Which Oakland rapper popularized oh, parachute pants? My 70-year-old mother came up with that question. <laughs> M.C. Ammer. Final answer. The correct answer is, of course, Mick Hammer. Mm. <laughs> must, must be a secret menu item. Never heard of that one. Uh -huh. What is Good the job, prim boys. primary ingredient in a standard hummus? Isn't it like chickpeas? Yeah. I, I'm not a I hummus guy. I think you guy. actually got that. I, I will... Uh, not I will saying go. the joke. That goes along with it. What is the difference between garbanzo beans and chickpeas? <laughs> I've never paid for a garbanzo bean on my face. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard that one? No. Oh I god, said god. that joke in front of a in, in front of a bar of two hundred people. <laughs> and I was shocked shocked by how many people laughed because that how many people didn't hadn't heard it before. Oh. Uh, Folks, and your phone is a question of round one. All right, so Ch chickpea was was correct, right? Yes, yes, yeah. All right. Sorry. What land mammal doesn't have vocal cords? Interesting. Turns out there's right. two two correct answers, and one person put gray whale. Land <laughs> mammal, <laughs> which, is, which is almost as bad as the person who put Hawaii for the state that received the most <laughs> snow last week. <laughs> yeah, that was just an interesting answer. Uh, like, land I don't know. Do you have any idea? What? Vocal cords? There's two of them. I don't I even wish know it was a moose. In. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got beautiful pipes. Um, Should we say bears and mooses to, for, uh, for the memes? I don't know. 
I don't really I don't even know where guess. to start. I don't even know where to start to th- throw something out. So, yeah, I guess we'll pass. <laughs> An animal, you fuck. Let's just say koala. Yeah, they, oh it's a marsupial, God. you fuck. Oh, wow. Not even a mammal. I don't Look, care. I'm correct, just thinking of the first animal answer, in my head. The correct answer is either a giraffe or a mm. sloth. A what? Sloth. Oh, sloth. Interesting. Or a okay. Giraffe. All right, so we got 500 in the first round. We did not get the bonus. You didn't get okay. puberty either, apparently. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> All right, visual clues. Name the film based on the iconic freeze frames. Ooh, this should be fun. There we go. All this right, we'll go no emote help. only for this, just so it doesn't tempt us. Okay. Two of us can't see chat. All right. Um, ooh, geez, this is a bit tougher than I anticipated. Where's Jaws? Hmm. Seven is rush hour. Um, okay, so six is Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Seven, rush hour. Eight is Independence Day. Nine is Guardians of the Galaxy, but it, or it could, it, there's so many different ways, and I know Rob's going to screw us, so it could be volume two, ah. or it could be Avengers, so we have to think that one through. It was when Harry met Sally. What is? Two, when Harry met Sally, when she's Three moaning at the is table. Pulp Fiction. Five is Slumdog Millionaire. Four and one, I don't rec- Is one Parasite? I want to say one is Parasite, but I've never seen it. Can't see Not six because my screen is so, so fucking absolutely, small. Absolutely, absolutely none. You don't watch movies? Not these ones. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get it let- Let's get a, an official rundown one by one, and I'll tell you if you're right or not. All right, All right so, so one. Parasite, you good with that, Bear? Or do you have any idea? Bear. Parasite? Bear. I, I'm looking at a that, microscopic. That, that is correct. Okay, cool. Okay. Two, what was it, Bear? And Harry met Sally. That is correct. Three, Pulp Fiction. That is correct. Four. Four is Jaws. Oh, four. That nailed is correct. it. Five Slumdog Millionaire. That is correct. Six Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm, it's Ra- Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's <laughs> 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 Number seven. And I don't know. Rush that, Hour. Is it the original? Uh, oh, is yeah, because that that's put, okay. that's never never touch a black man's radio. Man, we beat. That's correct. Eight Independence Day. That is correct. <laughs> Nine. I mean, I want to say this is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. And I'll answer. Yeah. It is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One. Uh, off. <laughs> I will not be, I will not succumb to your pelvic sorcery, Peter Quill. <laughs> so you're at eight out of nine and number ten. Ten. I don't recall this is like a plastic bag floating through the wind. Is this a Katy Perry song? Can we, um, give, can we say Katy Perry final answer? No 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 Um um, is this uh, like the ring uh, before it like goes? I don't know. Ooh, that's a good guess. Oh. Trust him. I would s- end with the ring. It's got to be a scary movie because they make fun of the bag in one of the scary movies. Paranormal activity. Don't don't. I'm fine I'll with the ring. Final for whatever you want, Bear. So you, you make final call. If I ring had to fi- put any ring input, final answer, okay. Mm, unfortunately, it is with Mira Sorvino and Kevin Spacey 
American Beauty. Ooh, never would have got that. Have you ever, American Beauty was the bag that they... Have you ever seen something so beautiful in your life? And he shows her a video of a bag in the wind. Mm. Oh, nice. So we got 8 out of 10 there, correct? We just missed the last eight. two? Correct, 8 out of 10. We have 1,300. Alright, okay. Not bad. All right, I can actually nice. ask, I can a ask the questions now. I'm check texting while driving. Ready? Oh, Jesus. So, oh my god, sorry, there's a deer that jumped out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> so, round three, if you're on the screen, it is called Many Homonyms. So, each answer for these questions are a homonym. Do you know what that is, Moose? Uh, I did at one point. I don't recall off the top of my Words head. Words that sound the same, right? Mm. Yep. So, no, words with the same meaning that... The same word with multiple meanings. Gotcha. So, question one. What is a bump on a ski slope or a person who excels in their trade? A um, mogul. Mogul, yeah. Mm. That is correct. I know. 200 points. Beautiful. Number two. What is it to be in good health or an underground water source? Hmm. Oops, or spring? Spring? Doesn't sound quite right. No. <clears throat> Hmm. Underground Not water sure. source. Hmm. I, I looked at chat, so spring. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. Good answer, folks. <gasps> Got anything, Bear? No. Oh. Spring. Ah. Uh, to be in good health. Or to draw water oh. from a well. <laughs> yeah. Idiots. I don't know how we can think of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, what is a long metal or wooden rod or the position that a person is who begins a race in front? Hole. Oh, right. I was going to say, <laughs> get the F1 streamer. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. So we get two number four what is what is it when something is huge, powerful, and overpoweringly strong, or is full of titanium huge powerful and overpoweringly strong, full of titanium mm. huge, powerful, and overpoweringly strong Titan. Uh, overly strong. You guys have any ideas? Um, I feel like I know it. I just can't think of it. Juggernaut. Ooh. <laughs> what do you say? Juggernaut. Uh, I have no idea if that means full of titanium. No, I said juggernaut. <laughs> 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 yeah, Final I don't answer, know. Moose, what do you got? I, I, I have nothing. I have nothing. Yeah, go juggernaut. I have no idea. Go, <laughs> Brad. You were close. Common. It is Titanic. Titanic. Uh, ah. To be full of titanium, or to be huge and strong, like the boats. Yeah. <laughs> It's at the bottom of the Atlantic. <laughs> 505 miles off the coast of New York City, which is an old trivia night of fun and wonder question. Mm -hmm. Question five. What is an outburst by Greek mathematician Archimedes or California's state motto? Eureka? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. <clears throat> we'll go with that. That is Eureka. correct. Fucking right. Hey, oh boy. Well done, Bear. 
All right, your bonus question worth 400 points, folks. What is something that's round, but also can be a store's distributed newsletter flyer, known as? Doors. Uh, it's something circular. I was going to say circular. Pensory. Or I, circular I in, don't the, in know. the name of it. Is that what you're saying? The, fly, yeah. the flyer. Oh, that could be it. Because. Yeah. That could be it. Circular. I didn't hear the word. No, no. F flyer. No, flyer is in the question, Moose. <laughs> Circular. What? It's not, it, the answer can't be flyer. It's it distributed a newsletter. It can also be a oh, distributed uh, newsletter flyer. Um. Do we have an answer? Bear? It's called the circular. Circular. That is that is correct. Nailed oh. it. Bear coming. So that one's double. The bonus that's question's a big double. Four hundred points. Okay, so we get a thousand there. That's that gets big. us up to twenty five hundred. Huge, huge, absolutely huge. Um, yeah, unfortunately we can't play the uh, music round, but it was good. It was songs that have prepositions in the title. Mm. That's pretty cool. Um, I was grammatic, gr gr grammatically inclined <laughs> this uh, trivia night. Um, okay, ready for the punishment rounds? Yep, let's do it. Two fifty, daddy. Two fifty apiece. Question one: The Chinese spy balloon was shot down off the coast of what state? I want to say North. It was one of the Carolinas. I think. Really. I think I honestly didn't I didn't I didn't see what state but like I would imagine China I, would be coming I from remember the West, but. I remember one of my dad's friends posting something on Facebook but he's also that kind of person just to post a lot of random shit so it could have just been Oh I won't steal your thunder go with go with your gut cuz I have no idea I would have just said a West Coast state Do you, do you have anything there? Or is it it's East Coast? Coast. It's it East, is East Coast. Coast. Okay. It's East Coast. But it, go with one of the Carolinas. I can be pissed at you if it's right. near Langley. North Carolina, final answer. All, all I wish, I remember the guys. That, oh my God, it's a fucking whale, bro. Yeah. That, that's who I wanted them to send out to recover the fucking wreckage. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, it was off the coast of South Carolina. Fuck. Oh. Oh, get wrecked, nerd. Um, <laughs> so, that brings us to question two. What video game controller... No, sorry. What video game console had the first dock controller with a trigger? This is a controller that came with the console, not a special edition controller. It's got to be N64, right? The underneath Z button? Didn't the Super Nintendo have the triggers at the top? Those were just the bumpers, like the R and Ls, like the actual trigger underneath. Like I don't even think, like you know, how, like it's just a different style of button. I don't think the bumpers would classify. No, the bumpers wouldn't classify. No, your host, folks. What are you yes, thinking, sir? Bear? Are you thinking Super Nintendo? No. Moose, do you have any input? No, it was before I was born, so. Thank you. Thank you once again. Yep. Dr <laughs> did Dreamcast... When did that come out? Um, Dreamcast, GameCube, and N64. It had to. PlayStation 1 and, and N64 were around the same time, but PS1, I don't believe, had... It was very similar to... Um, 
Super Nintendo kind of just had the same setup for the most part. This be Duck Hunt. Is he gonna fuck no, us over with Duck Hunt and I say that's imagine. a trigger? Video game console? Did say it's not special. <clears throat> Keep up, man. Uh, go with N6. You sure? All right, N64. Final. Let me tell you, this question caused a lot of fucking problems because <laughs> we have people, people arguing that that the gun was a stock controller for the Super for the original Nintendo because of a limited edition release that included the <laughs> console with the Nintendo gun, but also people who thought that. The bumpers from a Super Nintendo were triggers, but a the pulling of a trigger towards you like a trigger was first available on the Nintendo 64. Hey, hey. Uh, you know what? If we don't if we don't win that question alone with how we went through and got every issue that he had, <laughs> yeah. then we talked ourselves back to it. Is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty Not, impressive. No, it, no, your host, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going through a dead spot in the next five seconds. If I break up, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, but in the meantime, while a jet engine clocks in at 130 decibels, what event was the loudest sound on Earth ever created with an estimated 310 decibels? Damn. Hmm. Can you feel like it? a uh, rocket? Yeah, launch? we got you. Okay, oh, we can hear you. Uh, like one of the most. I was thinking. I, I was thinking that, or like Hiroshima oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. An atomic bomb. <laughs> that sounds like it might work. <laughs> I just don't know how you would measure it. Estimated. Uh, yeah, fair. I like the estimated too. You want to go uh, atomic bomb? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's go with the old A bomb. Mm, unfortunately, it is the eruption of Krakatoa. Hmm. Mm. The eruption of Krakatoa, the loudest sound ever ha that's ever happened on Earth. Where is that? The South Pacific. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Number three. In a standard deck of cards, which is the only suit in which the right side up queen is facing to the right? Oh. oh. The hell's going to know that? Where's Matthew? No, Gamb gambling addicts. I Matthew. Like, yeah, I feel like most of these, like the hearts, tend to be different. But. Hearts, hearts is what. Wait, come to mind. The right first. side up queen is facing to the right. Yeah, heart. I for whatever like reason, hearts. for whatever reason, the hearts is the first one that came to my head. If we're all there on the impossible round, do we just pivot and go clubs? Yeah, <laughs> if it's impossible. Then yes. <laughs> you want to go hearts then? Yeah, hearts. Do we have it is problem? fake. Fuck. Okay. Struggling. <laughs> Struggling. We didn't know, though, so that's all right. All right. Number five. This one's tough because it's local, so you're going to have to take a guess. Oof. And, an exter well, it was also on Yahoo News. So, An exterminator in Santa Rosa, California, removed over 700 pounds of what that had been lodged in an Airbnb chimney last week. Santa Claus ass fat. <laughs> Seven hundred pounds. What what does soot consist of? That stuff what? you gotta sweep your chimney for. Huh? 
soot. You you have to get your chimney swept every once in a while because shit builds up in it. It's called soot. Do exterminators usually deal with soot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Checking. It said chimney, so. Um, I feel like it's probably like an ant. It's, if it's 700 <laughs> pounds, That's it's a lot of ants. Animal shit. Bird shit. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Mm. The exterminator just makes me think that it's something weird like that, like an animal. Like but dead squirrels or something. Just got roasted. <laughs> Whole colony of squirrels. <laughs> you know, <laughs> squirrels. Poor gamer will be upset know. with us, but... <laughs> Squirrels, final answer. Squirrels, final answer. You're so close, it's not even funny. Oh, Acorns. Chipmunks. Acorns. Oh, oh damn. damn. <laughs> Will you do me a Google, Google Santa Rosa acorns so you can see the photos of this fucking thing. <clears throat> and you can, I'll ask the final question for the, uh, the punishment round while you do that. Folks, your bonus question worth 500 points. Here we go. What country uses the Zolati as its currency? Hold on. We're watching the Zolati? Right now. That's so many <laughs> acorns. And they think it was only one squirrel who did it all. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. There's just as many. Wild. Okay. Uh, back, to the, back to the trivia. Uh, what country uses the Zelati as their currency? Zelati. Um, just immediately went to uh, dude, where's my car in Zoltan? <coughs> my mind went somewhere in Africa, but I don't know where. Typical. <laughs> you knew Can you just throw out too. a country moose one of these times? To, like, throw it even in an answer. Oh, trust me, if he could throw it out all of Africa, he would. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> At Texas Stars. What is, uh... What does New Zealand use? I feel like it's not the Zlati, but... I don't know. Tasmanian yeah. devils. <laughs> no, that's Tasmania. That's somehow more racist than what Moose said. <laughs> <laughs> Eat meat? No. Um, Go ahead, Moose. Take a shot in the dark. Yeah, Take... yeah Moose. This is 100% you. Uh, I'm doing this for let's, the content. Let's go Zimbabwe. Final answer. We're just going to pick it because it starts with a Z. Mm -hmm. The correct answer is Poland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost the exact opposite, Moose, of yeah. what you were thinking. You know? A country that Moose loves much more than Zimbabwe, I bet. Yeah. I'm, I'm part Polish. Yeah. It, it shows. <laughs> okay, here we go. You have 500 points apiece. I don't know how many points you have. Twenty-seven fifty. A lot. Great. How how much? Twenty-seven fifty. <laughs> well, better yeah, than last yeah. week. Yeah, plus yeah, five thousand, so thirty-seven fifty. I I should start keeping track of your score, and then add you to the standings. Oh, that's um, <laughs> okay. Number one in two thousand sixteen, which which professional sports teams championship rally? became ranked as the seventh largest gathering in human history. Damn. Did you ask this question? That has to be the Chicago Cubs, no? Are they the six in the in twenty sixteen? Oh, that's why he wouldn't ask. Huh? Wait, what? Um and was there... the Cubs. What'd you say? I, I figured is it Honestly, in 2016, the greatest event that happened was Cleveland coming back from a 3 1 deficit against the Golden State Warriors. Well, there was there a World Cup in 2016? <laughs> also, a very good point, Moose. Well, no, there was a World Cup this year, right? So, I mean, that would be like France, France won it. So, France has to give that four much years. 
I don't yeah, think France cares not. all that much, right? Didn't they win the last probably one? Not. But that, I think that was 2018. I, don't know. I have no clue. No, they're every four. Right, but there was one this year. Or last year. Why did I just... Holy shit. When you said there was one this year, I thought it was 2020 for a second. That was really Godless. weird. Yeah. Anyway. Did the Cubs win in 16? Yes, they did, and they beat Cleveland. So, it, you know what? It, it makes sense, because it, it hurts yeah. me. I feel like it has Instead to be of going... But I thought you were a Padres fan. <laughs> no, Rob, I explained that bit last year. <laughs> <laughs> were you ever a Giants fan, though? Uh, I mean, I had to. I, I I ran through every team. Okay. Okay. Final answer. What do we got? Cubs. Final. That is correct. Beautiful. Cavs were the eighth. Um. Second. In which country did McDonald's debut the McChicken mozzarella, which was a fried chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks on top? I mean, the wants you to say it would be Italy, right? Because mozzarella is Italian. Mm. But it's impossible, so it's probably like fucking France. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, fried chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks on top. You think it's like America the too? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought Canada for some or reason, but I don't think it's Canada because we definitely would have heard about it. McChicken mozzarella, which is a fried chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks on top. It's probably the United States. No, is we would have known about it. Yeah, could yeah, probably. What do you think? What is the final guess? Bear. Germany. Uh, oh. Do you say Germany? I think so. What about Egypt? Let's <laughs> let's bring that one back, bitch. <laughs> All right, you, Zimbabwe. Our, our discussions. Zimbabwe. What it? What, um, I don't know. Why me? You're the country guy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you for our countries. Yeah, Italy. The Democratic Thailand. Republic of the Combo of the Congo. <laughs> Combo. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Italy. That, that what a terrible guess. Like, isn't that isn't that what, that what you said first, Kilbrad? No, they said it's I not said... the Italy because oh, it's the impossible. It's literally the only one that's eliminated. Don't make me the captain. You Anything know I feel like shit. Italy. <laughs> See, he said it. All right, fine. Italy final. Yeah. Moose said it. Wow, I cannot believe you guys got talked back into it. It is South Korea. Okay, we never oh, yeah, got a million close. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, what's left? Final question. Third question, isn't there three? Or is there always three? Yeah, there's always three in the yeah. possible. It's final. Right. Yeah, yeah. Who is the first African-American woman to complete the EGOT challenge of winning an Emmy, Grammy, and Oscar and Tony Award in 2002? Hmm. Fuck if I know. <laughs> why, why do you set yourself up, man? Well, it's 2002, so I'm four years old. I don't give a shit about half these award shows anyway. Oh. <laughs> the first part has nothing to do with it. Something else. <laughs> no. God, you people. <laughs> people. Yeah, you guys. I'm, I'm going to let that one slide. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm, I bet I bet Moose knows the first white guy won it. <laughs> oh, Lord, these award shows are so dumb. Uh, Who cares? I don't know. I'm leaning towards like a Emmy. Thousand like, two. Beyonce came to mind, but like I don't think she would have won an Emmy, right? No. And was she in that many like movies or something? Too early. <sighs> two thousand two. Uh, Janet Jackson do any acting? Not a bad guess, Moose. But I don't think so. Awesome. Um, it was in the Blues Brothers movie. 
RESPC. Uh, would Aretha, Aretha Franklin, Franklin? Would she have won? Would she have won for that though. Um. Oh, mm. hold on, hold on, hold on. What about Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act. I don't hate that. I wouldn't. She's definitely on mm. daytime TV. Sister Act. But did she do any did singing, Tony? That's why I said Sister Act. She sings in it. And maybe they like cumulatively won a Tony. I don't hate that guess. Right now, I don't have anything else. I'll give you the 50 50 between Whoopi and Aretha. I would lean Whoopi over Aretha. Um, yeah, let's go Whoopi. Final? Fucking correct. Let's go, oh, Bear. Shit. Bear? <laughs> Bravo. Oh, uh, I hit my knee on the chair. <laughs> ha! Sir, uh, ah. Familiar surround. Way to go without. Uh, way to go at the bang. Well, boys, I hate to do this for you. I'm going to fuck up the cameras again. But no, hey, no. you're all wonderful. Text me what your final score was. I'll add a thousand to it, and then we'll call it even for the music round. Alrighty. 37.50, so 47.50 total. Okay. Bye, boys. Later. Bye, Rob. Hey, nice. so now I can get back into chat and see all oh, the God, stuff I that believe that how said. Moose is. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh. Yep. Yeah, I'm here. Right, people didn't seem to be too angry. So. Uh, me and Nova are on the same page. Yeah. Um, on the stream front, going to be few and far between. Hopefully get a couple night streams of the MLB tech test that goes live Wednesday. Um, might be able to stream our RFR rounds, but I'm not going to stress too much about trying to cram TGC in because we're traveling all tomorrow. And then I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so pretty busy for the most part. Um, so just going to be a, a chill week. Um, hopefully able to lurk around in some streams now and then. But um, yeah, not sure. Staying, staying busy with the IRL stuff. That's good, you know. Staying bu busy is good. Busy is good. Yep. Um, Bear is the busiest man in showbiz right now. He's he's got everything going <laughs> on between work, travel, and then coming back and just grinding away. Uh, you get a heck of a week mm -hmm. in front of you, right, Bear? So so we're uh, we're down here for the next three days. When we get back Friday, we uh, we've got an alt shot match. Who Dad and oh, I are we teaming up. That it, well, well, your turn's over, it. so shut the fuck up. No, I was reminding myself. It's it, no, shut up. Uh, who dad and I will be taking over the alt shot world. Uh, our team name is Sexual Tension for a reason, uh, because the tension that we have, it's it's going to be some Sexual. of the best. I mean, it's going to be some of the best discords uh, you will ever witness on the channel. Um, and so you don't want to miss those. The Saturday night special. Sunday we're doing the baseball. Getting that back into the uh, into the uh, you know mix of Rotation. things. Shut the fuck up, man! I swear, I'm. I may be in 240p. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, continuing with the YouTube, we're getting dangerously close to 100 subs. So like I said, when when I said at the beginning of the year, we're going all in, we're, we're giving it its fair shake this year. And uh, th this is where it starts. So we hit we hit 800, 800 followers on Twitch. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we will be giving away autographed bear rookie tops card this saturday so you don't want to miss 
Look at that beautiful bastard with a championship belt on. Lovely. Him. Where are you, where are you going <laughs> to sign it? Uh, For winner's choice. I don't know. We're going to have to decide. I why? And say, I kind of want to put a heartfelt message on there, like. Mm. I'm I think the, best. the, You're the top contenders for the signature positions would be top left or or bottom left or top right. Could be on my forehead. I so. just do a big there right across. Yeah, the a lot of room there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, yeah, heck of a schedule this week. Really looking forward to it. Um, myself, I I still have a relatively limited schedule myself, but oh, that is not the right one. Uh, there it is. We're making the plat debut in 2K23, where uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus. We wanted to take some time off before we went into plat, before we went into directly into the pain. Uh, but Wednesday, we bring back the golf. Have a little struggle, difficulty setting up the F1. It's between the comfort, getting the car situated right, um, gonna work on it offline and see if I can get it just right. But ultimately, golf is my main passion, so we're gonna dive back into that. Maybe we'll switch it up between Platinum and other tours, like maybe Three Click or True Sim Live. Um, but for now, we're gonna give Platinum a go, see how it, see how it uh, transpires. So look for me on Wednesday, and then uh, as I mentioned, we're going to probably have a game chat the following week. We're, we're trying to do some rebranding there, um, so hopefully we may have a new logo and identity on that. Uh, still will be called Game Chat, that's for sure. We'll keep that name, um, but Bear and I kind of working on that on the outskirts. So um, thank you. And Coral's got to edit. What's that? And Coral has to edit, and he's locked in the bathroom right now. Mm. Is he tired again? How riled up again? You did put him away. Uh, it, man's an animal, can't control himself. So um, leave him. Let, leave him with everything at home. Let's go raid someone that I don't think I've ever seen live, but I see the name all the time. Eight followers. This is a perfect raid for Red Fast Review. Maybe maybe they can get some followers because I don't even follow them myself. Um, but let's go see Jordan oh, Jake, sick. heck of a golfer, and streaming right now. A little alt shot with uh, three other names that I recognize Kodiak, Doc Fail, and Witness. Let's see if this raid thing works. I think I set it up correctly. Maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Jim. Uh, maybe not. Oh, suck it, nice. So long, and we will see you guys know, next week. Make sure you go follow them. Eight followers. On this hole with all I that assume water it's them. <laughs> Maybe it's two people. No. <laughs> no fear. I was premature. Suck it, Moose. Still. I knew you wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs>